In a previous video, I asked the question, is this the end of everybody's golf? The gaming landscape is always changing, and PlayStation views on the type of games they want to publish is changing with it, let alone when you factor in the server shutdown for everybody's golf on the PlayStation 4. In the end, we really don't know if it's the actual end of the series, but a lot pinpoints to it, including a successor from longtime developer Clapands. For over 20 years, developer Clapands has created every Hot Shots Golf and Everybody's Golf game and spin-off since Hot Shots 2 on the original PlayStation, taking over the reins from original developer Camelot, who now develops various Mario sports games for Nintendo since Mario Golf on the Nintendo 64. The last game Clapands had a hand in making was Everybody's Golf VR for the PlayStation VR. That was in 2019. With no official award on a new Everybody's Golf for the PlayStation 5 yet, Rather than sitting around and waiting, I don't blame Clapands for moving on with what they do best, developing golf games, and that's just what they did. Clapands Golf is literally an everybody's golf game without the official title, but there are a few setbacks, and the worst of it all, this title is only playable on the Apple Arcade, meaning you'll need a paid membership to play this game, as well as some sort of compatible Apple device. Now a game series doesn't last for over 20 years without some kind of continued success. After years of gradual changes to the series, the PlayStation 4 debut of Everybody's Golf attempted to broaden its larger appeal for a casual audience. This included online exclusive open courses, drivable golf carts, fishing, and a pretty decent creative character. While the game ultimately had everything that made up an Everybody's Golf game, ultimately it lacked the pre-made character the series was known for and this divided up the fandom. Ever since its original release, PlayStation's golfing series has had various pre-made characters with distinct personalities on top of fun guest characters like Kratos and Sackboy. And while you could customize everything about your character in everybody's golf from their look, their voice, and their swing, there's something about all of a sudden removing pre-made characters in a series that was known for them. Clapham's Golf, however, returns the series to its core formula while adding in its own spin. It ditches many concepts introduced in Everybody's Golf like creative character, fishing, open courses, and golf carts, and brings back closed courses and original characters. Some characters even look to be based on popular characters in previous Hot Shots Golf and Everybody's Golf games like Gloria and Suzuki. Caddies also make a physical return to courses rather than being an icon on the screen and now actually carry golf clubs like a traditional caddy. Outfits and outfit colors can be unlocked for not only each character but also caddies through special challenges of their own. And oddly enough, the height of these golfers as well as their head size have an option to be increased or decreased in size, maybe for a weird touch of player personality. However, the game does stand out from the past with its new twist to the traditional formula. Rather than picking out one character per course in the game's main story called Tour Mode, you will now be working as a team. Any character you unlock can simply be leveled up by playing. The higher the level, the better the stats. When starting the game, you only have four characters unlocked. Before every course, you're allowed to either manually plan out which character gets what hole, or let the game do an auto-placement. If you don't have enough characters unlocked, the game does provide low-level generic characters called mini-golfers that operate the exact same way any character would and help fill in the gaps of missing characters. Further characters are unlocked by beating them in a one-on-one -on -one match. Sometimes these characters will pop up to be beaten in regular matches, or when enough stars are collected, you will unlock that course's ranked boss. Being the boss not only adds that character to your roster, but also ranks you up as the player to unlock new courses across the world, so you'll have to make sure your team is properly leveled up to annihilate them, otherwise you can't progress further. Since the game is essentially a mobile game, of course the touchscreen plays an important part. The Everybody's Golf series is well known for its simple three-click system that anyone can do, with its mechanics being easy to get into, but difficult to master. And this has been integrated in some form for the two types of hit mechanics available. The first, and probably my favorite way of playing, is Flick. It feels simplified, and while it limits the detail you can go into your hit, the simple swipe mechanics make it welcoming. The later addition of Triple Tap will be familiar to those who've long played Everybody's Golf. Instead of swiping, it features a similar three-click system, and there's more of a control feeling of what you can do. Since the game's launch in 2021, there have been continuous updates to the game, and as the making of this video, the game is currently celebrating its first anniversary. New playable characters, courses, online modes, and as discussed previously, the triple tap has been added. It is likely Clapham has a long-term plan to regularly update the game for years to come. 
So far, Clap Hands Golf has received way more support than Everybody's Golf ever did on the PlayStation 4. Outside of Tour Mode, Clap Hands Golf features a variety of other modes to play both offline and online. World Tournament features open online tournaments to join set within a certain duration. Similar to Tour Mode, you'll build up your team and hit the selected course given to submit your best rank. Outside of tournaments, online multiplayer matches allow worldwide play with random online players as well as the ability to create password protected private rooms for online friends to join. Local multiplayer modes include Bring a Club, where 2-4 local players with their own devices can create or join a room created. Pass a Club uses one device for up to 4 players, where the device is passed around much like a controller in everybody's golf. Score Attack has a chosen character clearing a 9-hole course to aim for a high score. Survivor has players clearing challenges while aiming for the best survival score. And of course, there is a training mode that helps with practicing characters, courses, and shots. Just seeing all these extra modes further makes the game feel less of a cash grab and shows that there was a lot of thought and love put into the game. So much to Clap Hands Golf is directly copied from Clap Hands' previous work with the Hot Shots Golf and Everybody's Golf series, and ultimately, that's not a bad thing. There's an easy mode, the music gets more serious when putting the ball into the hole. Both the caddy and the crowd react either positively or negatively depending on how your shot lands. And of course, the characters have such exaggeration in their swings and their emotions on either a successful win or a loss. This game might as well be called Everybody's Golf Mobile. It takes the best elements and properly creates a successor longtime fans can be proud of. While the fate of PlayStation's Everybody's Golf series remains in limbo, Clap Hands Golf is at least something to entertain you in the meantime. But its exclusivity on the Apple Arcade restricts it from gaining the audience it could have due to its paid subscription. If you're willing to shell out the small amount of cash for a monthly subscription, then you'll be treated to a great successor that continuously gets updated. And if you can put up with a switch to touchscreen controls, honestly, you can't go wrong with Clap Hands Golf, especially if you've been missing everybody's golf. So, what do you think of Clap Hands Golf? Would you pay a subscription for it or pass on it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and be sure to like and subscribe for future content. And you should also check out this video about the possible end of the Everybody's Golf series. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.